What is up guys, Jesse here from JMH Reptiles and today we're showing you guys how we set up our baby crested geckos. So this is one of our babies that we have recently produced. Fire, I haven't decided if I wanna keep this as a holdback yet. This thing is gorgeous. It's got some fire patterning on it, some awesome colors, a lot of whites on it gorgeous but um, I'm about to clean out his tub and I figured I'd show you guys how we set him up so let's get into it all right so we have our eight quart tub I'm gonna take some paper towel uh, I break off two pieces fold it into one and it fits in here almost perfectly next you want to take some cork bar I know put one over here maybe slap another piece like this there we go, something like that. And this is where the greenery comes in, or foliage, whatever you want to call it. So for them to hide in, so for them to climb on, fold this in here a little bit better. There we go, some green. And then, like I said, the water caps. We'll put these up front. Probably put one like right there, the other one over here. And boom, basically done. All we gotta do is add our gecko. All right, so here is our gecko. Like I said, I haven't really made up my mind if I wanted to keep this one as a holdback or what yet. <laughs> he wants to run away. Here you go, dude. Um, it's a fire crested that I produced a couple months ago. Beautiful. And like I said, I haven't made up my mind yet as to if I wanna keep it as a holdback or not fire crested gecko though and that's basically how you want to set these guys up um, you got your water your food bowl you don't have to do the water bowl but I, I offer water bowls to all my cresteds I also spray with just one side um, what I do is I do this take this and go down just like that it's dripping so it's good to go you can go over to it lick the water like I said I do offer a water bowl as well that way, if they want to drink out of it, they can, and it's there if they want. So, all we have to do now is put our lid on. Boom. Now, when it comes to our adult crested, it's a little bit different. Almost the same, a little bit different. So, this is how I keep all my breeders here. They're all on a rack, and it's basically kind of the same, but a little bit different. Here's one of my girls right here. This is one of my favorite girls. This is Dumpling. She's gorgeous. She's a Harley, uh, a Harley pinstripe. And she is actually being bred to a male Harley pin. He is awesome. This is like my favorite male that I have right now. And he is daddy to a lot of the babies but yeah so that's basically how we do our adults um got their egg box here stuff for them to climb on that's one of my best mamas right there she does great but yeah we got this little uh breeder rack here that i use and it houses all my cresties and it works great like i said i do the same thing i'll take a uh, spray bottle spray one side to the trips um, but for them their food is a little bit different for the adult food I use these 0.5 ounce I believe it is 0.5 ounce um, cups and they work great uh, you mix the food pour it in there and it lasts them um, I do three times a week um, I'll leave the food in about 24 ish hours and if they don't touch it I take it out um, and if it's gone obviously I take it out um, if you leave the food in there too long, you will get fruit flies and nasty flies and stuff. So you don't want that. You wanna make sure you take that stuff out and put new clean bowls in there. Like I said, I do about three times a week. I feed all my geckos and I haven't had any issues yet. Um, yeah, that's basically how we keep our crusted geckos. Thank you guys for watching this short little video and I'll see you guys in the next one.